glad you could glad you could join us this morning. Uh, you know, we uh, we did this project last uh, last year, but there was a thing called the COVID that got in the way of this uh, celebration. So so we moved it to this year when it was a little better climate for the virus and in the beautiful weather today. So uh, welcome, and uh, I'm Harold Thomas. I'm the Economic Development Director for Greene County and Vice President with the Economic Development Region at the Global Trans Park. Along with my colleague Mark Pope and uh, Julie uh, Graham, uh, we appreciate you being here today, and uh, we thank Will Brown and Trey uh, Taylor for their efforts here. When we came out here last year, uh, we looked at this shelter, and that's what about what it was—a shelter. And we talked to them about uh, growing the business here in Greene County, and. Uh, we finally got them beat into submission, and they decided they would uh, they would stay here and grow this grow this business here in Green County. So we're really thankful for that, uh, and uh, I appreciate all their their efforts and their working with us as uh, as as they were able to complete this work. And now they're ready to uh, <clears throat> get their equipment in. <clears throat> excuse me, Paula, and uh, and get all this uh, get this get this fine facility in operation. So. Uh, a couple of people I would like to recognize, of course, uh, Will, Will Brown, he's the, he's the vice president of this operation, and Trey, I don't know whether Trey made it today or not. He could not be here, unfortunately. Trey's bashful, if y'all don't know that, and uh, he, just didn't, he just didn't want to come. But uh, the other folks that are here, I'd like to recognize our county commissioners, uh, Jerry Jones, James Shackford, uh, Benny Heath, uh, Susan Blizzard, and uh, Derek Burris. So thank you for being here. And uh, I'd like to recognize Mark Suggs for Pitt and Green. He's a manager over there, and uh, we really appreciate him being here and, and their efforts to help uh, bees get this uh, operation going. Uh, and then uh, Stephen Kearney with uh, First Citizens back there. Appreciate you being here, Stephen. <clears throat> so, you know, there were quite a few uh, incentives that we were able to, uh, to get for bees. One, we got a building reuse grant of $75,000 for them and they with a they had a one uh, one and a quarter million dollar uh, investment here in the county and uh, in going to employ 17 new people and the issue that they're having is like everybody else is having is finding people that uh, actually want to work now but we're happy to have them here and uh, for the efforts of uh, of all the folks that helped to make this uh, happen and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Tommy Askew, he's uh, chairman of the, uh, the uh, or president of the uh, Green County Manufacturers Association, and uh, Justin Hill standing back there. He's vice president. So thank y'all for being here. Uh, so with that, I'll call on Will. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Yes, sir. Uh, morning, everybody, and welcome. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for joining us here today. Uh, to celebrate a milestone in the continued growth of, of our group here in Greene County. Uh, I'd like to extend our sincere thanks uh, for the support of our organization um, by the Greene County Commissioners, uh, Mr. Heath and Shackleford, Mr. Jones, Ms. Blizzard, and um, I'm missing Burris. Mr. Burris. Uh, um, thank you guys for being here. Um, uh, Mr. DeHaven, the County Manager, um, the great folks at, at the North Carolina Economic Development Region, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Pope, all your staff, um, and the State Commerce Department. Um, our greatest thanks, guys, go to the team members that have been here at Bees, part of our family who have worked and strived so hard um, to continue to grow into the organization we are today. Um, I couldn't be more proud to work with the guys that are here, and I am extraordinarily excited to see you guys continue to progress, to see us to continue to progress as a group. And um, I, I sincerely thank you all for your efforts. This project represents the culmination of a decade of work growing here in Greene County. Um, and in many ways, our business is measured by the start and the finish of, of a project. Um, I was told really early on in my career that each project has its own unique and, and independent personality and some of them are, are a ton of fun some of them you know involve a lot of creativity some of them honestly can be a little stubborn and frustrating I got a little kid that's that way um, but um, 
this one is uniquely special for me and I think for a lot of our group because um, its personality isn't defined by it being finished. Um, it's defined by the commitment and the fortitude, um, the partnership that allowed it to come together in the first place. And it's even more defined by the potential that it represents for the future, for, for our group and for the county as a whole. And I thank you all for joining us here today and thank you for every one of your parts and continuing to support our <coughs> mission of building better because we build together. Um, that being the case, thank you all for being here. Um, Mr. DeHaven. Thank you. Before Kyle gets started, uh, we'd like to thank uh, Tim Moore for his work with the, uh, with the Trans Park and helping us with this project and also Trey Cash. And uh, <clears throat> before he starts, Don Davis just showed up. So Don, come on. Your turn. <laughs> right, get right up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Good. How we doing? Hey, how we doing? Oh, the floor's mine, but not wow. long. Not, not long. long. <laughs> no, I'm just excited to be here, and um, you know, this is a great addition to the county uh, to see everyone coming far and near. Um, this is huge. Um, this is where. We need to be right now as we are still you know coming out of difficult times this is about growing our economy growing our county uh, making eastern north Carolina even stronger so um, you know to the business you know we're glad to have you here glad to help you um, come open the doors and um, you know i just want to thank everyone for uh, being here and for all that we're doing today so thank you so much here Hopefully that wasn't too long. No, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Kyle's going to come up now. Kyle has been very supportive of not only this project, but all the economic development efforts that we've had uh, going on in our county and as, as well as at the GTP. So I thank Kyle for all his efforts and his support and in, uh, in what he means for economic development growth in Greene County as well as the local transport. Thank you, Kyle. What a great day for a ribbon cutting. Isn't this just a fabulous facility that was repurposed for its use? Um, I wanna thank Will for your investment in Greene County. Um, we're very pleased, we know you had opportunities in other places and uh, you decided to grow your business here. Um, we appreciate that investment. Um, this plan growth in our county allows, allowed for the participation in the building reuse grant program. So now these funds that were granted, saved, can be reinvested in other places. Now we're not counting on that today, but we'd hope in the future. Um, we're very thankful to have been part of this process and hope to find more grants that can help assist you and all businesses in Greene County in the near future. Thank you. Okay, Benny. Benny's the chairman of our county commissioners. He's got a, a few remarks. And there will be a few. <laughs> Um, quite frankly, I support everything that's been said here today, all the entities working together to bring this to fruition. But I'm going to get on a little bit of a personal note and go back more than a decade ago when this young man over here who has the Don Davis haircut, oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he was, <laughs> he, was uh, he and Trey. Worked, for, worked as the project managers for the justice center that we built over the lower decade ago. That's when I first met these guys. I knew Trey and Trey's family all my life. But Will there was a young man that uh, enjoyed his hair growth and uh, <laughs> he had an abundant supply. And uh, it was just a pleasure to see Will and Trey complete the project for us and then give them the business for themselves. I admire you for what you all did, you and Trey did. I admire your employees for what they do to support this business. So glad to see you succeed. So glad to see you going proactively into the future. Wish you the very best in, in the future. Thank you so much for all that you've done. And I'm a little bit the way I am. You don't enter any great or important undertaking without invoking the blessings of God. So we're gonna have a little prayer right quick before I close. Father God, we come before your wonderful throne of grace and glory every day. 
with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for the mercies, blessings, and comforts of life given each and every one of us. And today, thanksgiving for this business, for all the employees here, and for all the partners that shared with the opportunity to make this come to fruition today. Father God, you provide every need for us. And when it comes to blessings, we're about to, we're about to celebrate the greatest blessing of all, the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. But as we stand here today, we enjoy this beautiful weather. It couldn't be any better, and you are the one that provides for the return of the seasons and the variety of scenes each season displays to the discerning eye. The spring has come about, new growth has begun, this business is growing, and Father God, we place all the things in your hand. Father God, as we enjoy this opportunity today, again, it's a prayer of thanksgiving. Every day in the life of a Christian is a day of thanksgiving. <clears throat> And Father God, we just ask that you bless everyone here. As we depart this, give us traveling mercies back home. Father God, we love you, we thank you, we need you in our lives. And we thank you for what you've done here today for this business. These things I humbly pray in your name. And in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So uh, while Mark's coming, uh, I do want to thank Brandon Sutton. He's been uh, in our planning department. He's been a lot of help to me in all the projects we've worked on in Greene County and a bunch of future ones that we're working on. So I appreciate Brandon being here. And he used to actually work with with bees a long time ago, and we uh, we want to keep him with, in our department. We want him back. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, here, here's Mark, and Mark and I have worked together on uh, economic development projects for 15 or 20 years, long time. And uh, I'm really glad to have that Greene County is part of the Global Transport region because it brings our county and the North County, Wayne County together to help with projects like this and the others that we've announced uh, last year and the ones that are coming this year. So, Mark. Thank you, Harold. Thanks for everyone for being here, our commissioners and county manager, and especially Will and Senator Davis. Thank you for being here today. You know, Harold brought me in to talk to Will and Trey uh, uh, early on. Want to talk about what are the grants and you know we're expanding a small company you know and we kind of threw out some ideas to will some things we could go after and they kind of looked at us and said you know can you really do that is that for us um and and it and it is and that's the story we want to tell today because our existing industries are if you look at the announcements there's been a lot of great announcements going around lately in, in north carolina but 85 percent of the expansions that you're seeing in, in the special state of North Carolina are existing industries and that's the backbone of where we come from in economic development and they make the wheels turn they create a lot of jobs you know they may not be 7,500 uh, job opportunities at one place but Will and Trey what they do here with their company if you look back when that was what impressed me a lot when I walked into their, their um, the office up there and saw the things you did at Duke University, the things you did in New York. All over North America, you can look and see, probably Will and them have done a lot of things in a lot of big cities. And that's what impressed me, it was a small town, small company the size of what Will and Trey had here with bees, is where they are and what they do for all of us in the United States and, and abroad. So I was impressed, Will, you got a great team, you know, a lot of things that are going on and to see this come to fruition and see the help from the, the Department of Commerce and our allies and our folks with the legislative group to really stand up and really back our small businesses. That's the key of where we go to tomorrow is um, growing our businesses, make sure they can expand, make sure they can create jobs and opportunities. So without them, we, we, we won't make it. So Will, thank you for what you do. Thank you for your team, you guys back there. You make it all happen. So thanks for all of you for being here. Um, God bless each of you, and let's cut a ribbon. Yeah, let's cut a ribbon. So let's break. Before we say that, I got to do one thing. We ain't had any applause. We need, <laughs> we need to applause this guy right here for his team. For what they're doing.
Ja, ich habe schon mal They don't let me play with a phone cord. All right, so you're our center man. Right here. Okay. Sorry, I got upper down. Don't cut for your shirt. I'm very excited. I know you got a heavy hand there at it. Thank you. Make sure we see everybody. We got a couple more. I'll make sure we get it. Yeah. Alright, you get there with Mark. Alright, look there. We're gonna have to scrunch up a little bit to come in. Alright, you gentlemen standing in the back. Y'all good? Yep. We're good. Nobody's looking. Trey, stay down. Alright. Oh, there she goes again. Trey's mine. Hold up for me. Stand behind me. We'll be in front of it. <laughs> Incognito. All right, does everybody see me clearly? Yeah. All right, count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> I got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you got some food. I was going to say, sure, they're good. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, it's my pleasure. 